James in San Diego, California writes to me and he says, Paul, my question is as a recording artist using a DAW, which for those of you that don't know is a digital audio workstation, kind of, kind of like Pro Tools, uh, is a very popular one. I have the option to record it, say for instance, 24-bit 44.1 or maybe 32-bit 44.1 and also 16-bit, 96 kilohertz, 192 kilohertz, etc. Can you give us a breakdown of the bits versus sample rates um, uh, and what the advantages are? Well, first off, let's talk about 32-bit versus 24-bit. There is no reason whatsoever to go to 32-bit. I mean, in a way, if it makes you feel better, go for it. <laughs> it's, it's just a frame length. Um, for those of, it, of you that don't know, the number of bits in a PCM stream determine the dynamic range. The, how small the divisions are of that dynamic range and how big potentially you can have of a dynamic range. 24-bit audio, which is what our standard is, will give you 144 dB dynamic range. Now let me put that in perspective for you. 144 dB is the difference between a single molecule hitting your eardrum and standing next to a jet engine at full blast. That's the dynamic range of 144 dB. That's a lot of dynamic range, more than we need. 32 bits gives you, I think it's 199 dB. I mean, yeah, you see where I'm going. We don't need it. Do you want to do it? Great. It doesn't take any more, I mean, the frame width for PCM will handle up to 32 bits. So whether you use the bits or you don't use the bits really isn't going to be uh, much difference, if any at all. So 24 bits is excellent. Now, 16 bits is 98, 96 dB. I, I don't remember exactly. It's just adequate and much depends on what you're doing with the dynamic range because most recording engineers don't know what to do with that dynamic range, right? Most recording engineers take everything up into the top half and keep it kind of loud. And the bottom half of the available dynamic range is almost never used. So much depends on how you're recording, what your goals are and what you're doing. But I would say in general, 24 dB is, or 24 bits is exactly the right way to go. That gives you a whole bunch of dynamic range to play with far more than you need, right? Now, for sample rate, I think most DAW systems are probably happiest at about 96 kilohertz. So I would recommend 96K and 24-bit if you're using the average Pro Tools uh, digital audio workstation. You could go lower, but or like, you know, now I actually prefer 88 uh, only because if you're eventually going to go to a CD, which is 44, you want a multiple that is easily divisible into 44.1, and that happens to be 88.2, not 96. So 96 is a multiple of the original standard for digital audio recording, which was 48 kilohertz. Why, why they chose 48 and consumer chose 44.1 is some distant story remembered by somebody but not me. I don't know. But the consumer standard is 44.1 for playback if we're going to do CD. So I would recommend that you use the multiple of it which is 88.2. But in any case, 96, 88, whatever. I think you'll have the better results by staying up in that area. 24, don't worry about 32. Okay? Hope that helps. Thanks. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.